Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make your own DIY face mask. So the CDC, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, recently recommended before that we shouldn't be wearing face masks and then they reevaluated it and now they are recommending for us to be wearing face masks. I'm gonna whip out the website right here and I'm gonna read exactly what they have said. So the CDC recommends wearing cloth face coverings in public settings where other social distancing measures are difficult to maintain. Example, grocery stores and pharmacies, especially in areas of significant community-based transmission. CDC also advises the use of simple cloth face coverings to slow the spread of the virus and help people who may have the virus and do not know it from transmitting it to others. Cloth face coverings, fashioned from household items or made at home from common materials at low cost can be used as an additional voluntary public health measure. The cloth face coverings recommended are not surgical masks or N95 respirators. Those are critical supplies that must continue to be reserved for healthcare workers and other medical first responders. The CDC actually shows how to make three of your own DIYs. I'm actually gonna show you kind of how to do one of the ones they recommend to do. If you are a regular schmegular person like me, we do not need N95 respirators to go to the grocery store. We just need something small. There are some critics that are still saying, you know, we shouldn't be wearing the mask because we can still spread it if we're not handling the mask or our gloves or whatever properly. But you know, if you're wearing a mask, don't be touching the outside of it and then rubbing your eyes and don't be moving the mask to like touch your face and your mouth. You know, you have to be cautious. Just be smart with what you're wearing. So what I have noticed is wearing a mask has really helped me to prevent touching my face. Like you don't even realize how much you end up touching your face all day long. When I started wearing a mask, I noticed that my hands kept going up and I was like, wow, I really need to become mindful and conscious of like me touching my face and I need to stop doing it. So the mask just being there is a reminder to stop touching my face. So let's do our part and slow the spread. It is spreading like stinking crazy. I just can't even believe we're living through all this right now. If you'd like to learn how to make four really super simple DIY face masks with household items you probably already have, please keep watching. So the first one we're gonna do is a paper towel mask. So the ingredients for this includes a paper towel, just a piece of it, elastic bands, just two of them, and a stapler. So what you wanna do, you wanna make sure that the paper towel is in the square shape, very similar to this. It's hard to tell with mine, but if you look really carefully, you can see I have two pieces of paper towel together. If you are using two pieces like me, I'd recommend taping it down the middle to make sure that it doesn't rip because these ones are a little bit more prone to ripping. But the first step you wanna do is just flip the paper like this back and forth back and forth till the end once you have it folded like so what you want to do is grab an elastic put it towards the end then you want to fold the paper towel to cover that elastic and all you want to do is just staple that and you're gonna do the exact same thing to the other side After you have the both sides staple, all you wanna do is just slowly unfold it and you can see it has the shape of a mask and that's pretty much it. You're ready to put it on. This one here, this one is not approved from the CDC or it's not a recommended one, but this is just if you absolutely have nothing else, this one protects the least out of all of them. The cloth ones are way better. This one's a one-time use as well, so throw it away once you're done, but this is what it looks like. So number two is going to be the bandana mask. So this one actually is approved from the CDC. And all you need to do is have a bandana or something that the shape of that and two elastics. What you wanna do is fold it in half like so first. And then what we're gonna do is kind of split it up into thirds. And we're gonna to try to put a filter in the middle of the bandana here. So the CDC recommends using a coffee filter right there. I don't drink coffee, so I don't have coffee, but I opted to use like a pad. Like again, this is just me. This is me replacing this, so this is not CDC approved, but pads or panty liners, if you're not familiar with that, panty liners are for the end of periods where you just have like a little bit residue left and you don't really need to wear a full pad or tampon. So these are like, I thought perfect because they have sticky backs or super thin. So I'm just placing it right in the center. So the CDC recommends putting a coffee filter there, but since I don't have it, I'm being creative and putting a pad down there. And then you just fold that over to cover that. So you fold from the top and then you fold from the bottom and there you go. The next step is going to be taking elastic bands and just adding them to the ends of the bandanas on both sides. So just slipping it over just like so. And then what you're gonna do is fold the ends towards each other and you're gonna try to kind of like tuck it into each other. You can see I'm like kind of tucking one end into the other there. And then, yeah, that's it, it's ready to go. 
so here it is putting it on honestly this is like so comfortable it's so tight and secure and it just I just feel like you know a bad girl here with my awesome bandana but I really actually enjoyed this and it was so secure and this one you want make sure to wash it after all right, the next one is the sock mask. This is like my own little DIY invention because I was like, I have a whole bunch of lonely socks sitting around, so I think I could make use to it. So all you need to do is find your one little lonely socks that don't have a matching pair. Basically, it's going to be combining the first mask and the second mask together. So all you want to do is take your sock, put some elastics at the end of it, and then if you want, you can put your pad or coffee filter or whatever in you have in between here. I'm just using the paper of the pad because I don't have another one. And you can see it fits in there really nice and snug and secure. And then all I did was staple the sock together and bada bing, bada boom, it's done. And it was super, super easy to do. And also it was really secure like I am actually really shocked with how comfortable and secure this one was and again this was just like my idea this idea this is not like a CDC approved one but it was so secure and I have so many lonely socks you can wash this one but if you have holy socks you can throw this out after as well once you're done with it and the last one is a bra mask. So what you wanna do is find an old, maybe ripped up holy bra you have laying around that you're not really using anymore. And that's all you're really gonna need for this one. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna cut up the middle part of the bra to separate it. You just wanna use the cup. So you can make two masks out of this. So once you have one side cut out, you just wanna cut off the excess little band there because you just want to keep the string basically and you can sew this if you want I'm not a sewer so I was just made this super simple for myself and just stapled it together and there you go bada bing bada boom you have another mask this one I'd also recommend to use bras from an A to a C cup this one was actually ended up being not my favorite because it was a little bit bigger and it didn't cover my face as securely as the bandana or the sock did but you know if this is all you have laying around definitely something is better than nothing I definitely feel a smaller cup bra would have worked way better but here are all the products so which one was your favorite Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that was helpful for you. And honestly, I feel like everybody will have at least the materials to make one of these because it is so stinking easy to do. And again, we are all in this together. So let's try to protect ourselves and protect each other along this journey. All right. Well, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.